Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you are new here, I do all kinds of lifestyle videos, motherhood vlogs, but I also like to talk to you guys about our personal finances. I usually do two budgeting videos a month where I show you what our plan is for the month and then I show you what actually happened. And now I've been kind of incorporating these what I spend in a week type videos. I've had a couple of people ask for them. I did one last month, so I can link that in the cards if you want to see that one. But I thought it would be interesting to show you another week because last time I did it we ended up having some big things that we ended up purchasing that uh, I was not planning on doing but this time we still had like a couple of random things come up but I feel like this is a better look at like things that maybe we could do better in the future and like how we budgeted things in general I'm gonna show you what it looks like I have my phone in front of me with all of the numbers so I can go through that and then I might have like a couple of clips here and there from like throughout the week that you can see what we actually purchased starting out with Monday we had two purchases one thing I want to say is I'm hoping the next one of these that I do we have one one day just one day where we don't spend anything that still hasn't happened I feel like when I used to do these I used to have like multiple days where we didn't spend any money and apparently I'm not good at that anymore we spent money on every single day <laughs> this week so on Monday we had two purchases one of them is a recurring probiotic that Ben gets which is $51.11 he is not going to renew that, so that's not something that we will have moving forward for a little while. And the other thing is I got another one of my mama sweatshirts, and if you guys <laughs> have been around for a, wh a while, you're probably like, Jesse, are you keeping this woman in business on your own? I'm not. They're very expensive, $69.95 with like tax and shipping and everything but i actually ruined two of my sweatshirts that i have that first of all they're the most comfortable i don't need to like if i want to spend 70 dollars on a sweatshirt i'm allowed to do that it's my money but they had this like beautiful emerald green color come out i'll put a picture of it up because i don't think i showed you guys the actual sweatshirt when i got it and i love green as you guys know ivy is a green color <laughs> that's my baby's name and i just feel like i had to get the green so now i have three um sorry my nails are still messed up but now i have three because i have my red one which is my favorite color i have green which is like another color that i love and then i have like this pink color so i feel like i've got all the colors that i need hopefully i won't buy any more so anyway the total for monday was 12106 moving on to tuesday tuesday was my monthly costco trip so this is a big number i budget 300 dollars in our account every month for costco we get like home stuff baby food tons of snacks for ben um he eats a lot of stuff from costco like bulk stuff this is a big number but it is we're actually under budget and it's for the whole month and a lot of the products also last more than just a month i did put a costco haul in one of my latest vlogs so i can link that if you're interested in seeing that but the costco haul was 296.05 i had my women's group which i have every other week which is group therapy but it's more of like a motherhood group a virtual group how many times can i say group and that is a 25 dollar copay and then one of my business expenses came out which was apple storage for my phone it is 9.99 and that is a business expense which i will tell you at the end i think i spent a little like a very small amount on business expenses this week so that just gets taken out in a different way so total out of our account that day was $331.04. Moving on to Wednesday, I only had two small charges. One was $862, which is a business expense for my coffee at the coffee shop that I go to, which is very expensive. I do tip them because it's a small coffee shop because I sit there for like three hours. So spending $8 for that is not a big deal once a week in my opinion i did go to mcdonald's and get a coke later that afternoon because i had a killer killer headache and sometimes the uh caffeine from coke can help but as you'll see i also just have a coke problem that sounds bad a coca-cola problem <laughs> in general so that was two dollars and 23 cents so total on wednesday i spent ten dollars and 85 cents so that was the closest day to a no spend moving on to thursday thursdays are normally my grocery day so this is also in that blog vlog that i just put in the cards for you just a few minutes ago if you want to see like all of the grocery hauls that i got because i got a ton of groceries last week 
So at Trader Joe's, I spent $142.34, and at Whole Foods, I spent $81.56. So last week, $223.90, which is quite a lot for groceries, but a lot of that stuff, we were out of a lot of like basic stuff, and now Ivy is eating more food versus like packets and formula so our grocery budget is starting to get a little bit higher so that is something that like we need to pay attention to and like fix our budgets a little bit but you guys will see what happens with that over the next couple months as we figure out that transition from like formula which is in a different category in our budget to actual people food like for example i'm looking at 25 dollars worth of berries that she's gonna eat most of those <laughs> so you know that's just like what it is instead of spending 80 to 120 dollars on formula a month we're buying her food every week with us moving on to friday i do think i took some clips so i'll insert those at some point within this okay it's officially friday i feel like this is the first time i'm vlogging for this video but i did a little target trip pickup trip today so i'll show you guys what we got i also had to stop at Walgreens and got my thyroid prescription, which was $35. Stopped at McDonald's, which was like $2.23 or something. Are you helping? I did get a $10 gift card that will come to me afterwards, but I got this spray bottle for Ivy's hair, actually. It's getting to like a weird length where like I can only put up the front, but the back's getting pretty long. So I'm wondering if I like wet her hair, I might be able to get some more. So I got this, this was like $3 or something. You helping? I got some diaper pail refill bags cause I know we'll need those. I got two things of size three diapers. A friend of ours got us some size four but she's still a little bit too small for those. Oh. Got some more pads because I got my period this week. Cleaning vinegar. This is some more wipes for Ivy. And then I got, oh, are you helping? I got these little hair ties because as you can see Whoa. ivy has like like different hot like orange neon colored ones so i wanted to get some clear ones i don't know like some of them are big it looks oh. like but that's okay and then i got Whoa. toothpaste because i got toothpaste from whole foods the other day and i do not like it but i don't remember the price of this but i will put it on the screen or tell you in the next clip we went to Target, which was $126.89. I do think I have a clip of that. I also went to Walgreens, which was a $35 trip for my thyroid medication renewal. I went to McDonald's again, which was $2.23, and then Uber Eats. Okay, it's still Friday. It's actually almost eight o'clock, but we ordered Uber Eats. This is not my phone number, so just ignore that. Yeah, we ordered Uber Eats from my favorite Indian restaurant of all time called Indian Harvest. I've talked about it on my blog like vlog like years ago, if you remember. It was pretty expensive. I did have a little bit of Uber Eats cash from a mistake on a previous order. Pretty pricey. We got lemon rice. Their lemon rice you have to pay extra for, but it's 100% worth it. Benjamin got a Lugo B, which he already ate all of, and I already transferred my stuff over. I got chicken Chenay. Chennai, I have no idea. C H E N N A I, and then chicken curry. They were so good. I obviously only ate not even half of the curry and maybe half of this one. I don't know. That's what we got. A lot of food. I'll have at least two more meals left over. Kind of a big spend, but to be honest, we haven't been getting food out, which I mean, it's only the eighth day of the month, so not that crazy, but I feel like it was something that we really we're looking forward to. That was what we got tonight. And we got it from my favorite Indian food restaurant in all the land from Indian Harvest. If you watched when we used to live in Wheaton or when we came home for when my baby shower last year or two years ago, two years ago, Indian Harvest is like my favorite Indian restaurant, but they're in Naperville, which is like 30 minutes from here. I ordered it on Uber Eats because I had a $20 Uber Eats gift card which tells you how much it is because we spent $72.06 on Uber Eats and that was without <laughs> the $20 Uber Eats. Honestly, probably the $20 was all the fees and crap, but it was worth it. I really loved it. Is this something we're gonna do consistently? Absolutely not, I wish, because I love Indian Harvest. It would take us 
over an hour to go there and back so to us it was just worth it i got three meals three or four meals out of my food ben got a meal actually he got like a meal and a half he always eats all of his because his is vegan and mine has meat in it so i can like make mine last a little bit longer i will say that is obviously something that we can be better at is like the mcdonald's the uber eats obviously that is very expensive but it's something that we really wanted to do. I don't know, I feel like I'm trying to justify myself in these videos and I don't think that's the point of it. I think it's just interesting to see what people spend their money on and we spent $72 on Uber Eats one night and that's okay. We have $200 budgeted for food out every month. We do have to get better at trying to stay within that but if we wanna spend half of it on one Uber Eats trip then that's what we're allowed to do, right? So on Friday, in total, we spent $236.18. That was a big spend day. Saturday, Benjamin went to Home Depot and he got some gardening stuff. So I did budget some money for gardening, but he has already blown through that budget. <laughs> He's still trying to learn and understand the value of budgeting and like staying within that. What's funny is he told me that he was only gonna spend like $75 and I knew he was not going to do that so I, I even budgeted more than that he spent some of his gardening budget this weekend that I was filming so it was 6813 at Home Depot for he he wanted to like build some stuff for like s seeds I know nothing I don't know the coffee shop <laughs> I went to the coffee shop a lot this week it was $7.62 because we went to the library and on the days that we go to the library, it's right next to the coffee shop that I love. So I got a coffee and that was great. And this was actually out of our account. And then I got a Coke again, which was $2. So in total, we spent $77.75 on Saturday. And then Sunday, we went to a nursery, like a, a greenhouse nursery. What are those called? like a plant nursery, you know what I mean. Anyway, Benjamin spent $58.75 on soil. I went to the coffee shop again, but I will say I worked on Sunday because I wasn't having help this week. This is another business expense, so it was $8.62 again, but again, a business expense. Amazon for Ben's gardening stuff, he spent $34.78. So in total on Sunday, we spent $102.15. Overall total for the week, we spent $1,102.93. We actually had zero bills come out. We tend to not have a ton of bills come out in the beginning of the month because our rent comes out right away in the beginning of the month. So that wipes a lot of our income out, especially if I don't have any like invoices getting paid. There were no bills that came out. Most of those come out in the the middle to the end of the month. Total business expenses was only $27.14, but that is $27 of what I told you for my business, so that will be written off. And then for the garden, just the garden, and he spent more than this, it was $161.66. Is budgeted for, but like I said, he's already gone over budget. This is just something that we wouldn't normally be spending on. He is obviously not gonna be like putting money into the garden, I hope every month this year. That was our total for the week. It was still a fairly high spend week. And there's definitely things that we could be doing better. Like, you know, I went to the coffee shop like three times this week. I got McDonald's a couple times, even though those are only like $2 charges. Obviously the Uber Eats was pretty expensive. It is what it is, plus our monthly Costco trip. That's how much we spent in a week this month. I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos. If you are, let me know down below so that I can continue to keep doing them. I will see you guys in the next video and thanks so much for watching.